two small balls having the same mass and charge and located on the same vertical line at heights h1 and h2 are thrown in the same direction along the horizontal at the same velocity v as on the figure the first ball touches the ground at a distance l from the initial vertical at what height will the second ball be at this instant so in this case if we analyze the forces on the ball the forces are like this on this ball mg plus electrostatic force on this ball mg and electrostatic force so acceleration of both will be different and acceleration of both will be different but the only thing is forces are in the vertical direction but due to this electrostatic force this force depends on the gap between the two particles this force may change during the motion of these two balls so force on each pole will be a variable force here it is not this simple motion under gravity and if the force is variable so we have to go into integration and all but one thing can be seen this electrostatic force is equal and opposite so if you see the whole system then electrostatic force will be an internal force and if you look out for the center of mass of the system then center of mass is only affected due to this external forces which is mg here and internal forces which are cancelling out uh, will not affect the motion of center of mass so i am looking for center of mass of the two and center of mass will be at the mid position because the masses are equal and here it is the center of mass acceleration of center of mass the net force is 2 mg and total mass is 2 m so acceleration of center of mass will be g downwards velocity of center of mass both having velocity v in the forward direction so velocity is v in the forward direction so center of mass will remain unaffected by this electrostatic force and it will move just under gravity with initial velocity v along horizontal and this initial velocity v along horizontal and acceleration due to gravity g vertically downwards now since forces between the two balls are vertical so the horizontal displacement of the balls at any time will be equal and this v will remain constant for the two balls so this ball will come here suppose it touches the ground here and this distance is given as l so horizontal velocity v remains constant so we can also find the time taken by this ball time taken by the ball to touch the ground will be simply l by v and as i have said the all the balls will remain on the the two balls will remain on the same vertical line because horizontal velocity of both will remain constant so second ball may be somewhere here and obviously center of mass is moving with the same constant velocity v so the center of mass will be somewhere here this is the center of mass since the masses are equal so initially center of mass will be at height so initial height of center of mass this is the initial height of center of mass h1 plus s2 by 2 since masses are equal it is at the midpoint now the height of center of mass we can find the final height of center of mass at this particular location and this height will be suppose this height is h and this h will now become center of mass has come down by some vertical distance and this vertical distance will be initial vertical velocity is zero so this will be half gt square so this distance will be half gt square where t is l by v so now the height of center of mass h is equal to h1 plus s2 by 2 minus half gt square where t is l by v so this is the height of center of mass at this particular time and since masses are equal this is m and this is m so center of mass is at the midpoint so this will be also h 
and height of this particle second particle from the ground will be 2h so our answer will be 2h and this 2h yeah 2hcm will be multiplied this expression by 2 and the final answer will be h1 plus h2 minus g l by v square so this is the height of the particle number 2